name is Amparo and I'm a teaching artist intern with the Chicago Children's Theatre. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own finger puppet theatre. To do this, you will learn how to make the theatre itself and also some really cool, really fun and really easy finger puppets to use with it. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're going to start by learning how to make our puppet theatre base. So the first thing you want to do is gather all your materials. You're going to need a box that can be a cereal box, a zoo box, or any similarly sized box. Then you're also going to need a couple of pencils, some tape or a glue stick, or any other kind of glue that you may have. I think tape might work best. Some scissors. And then some markers to decorate with, some paint, crayons, colored pencils, anything you want to decorate with. That can also include some colored paper that you can draw on, cut out and paste onto your box. Then you want to grab your box to start with and you're going to cut out one of the wider sides of it. So you're going to grab some scissors and then go in and slowly cut out one of the wider faces of the box. Make sure you're not cutting into any of the other sides of the box, just cut along the edge and all around. Make sure you ask an adult for help if you feel like you need it. Once we are done cutting, we are ready to move on. Your box may be like mine, where one of the smaller sides has been opened and so it needs to be glued together or taped together again. So you may want to go ahead and do that using tape, using glue, whatever you have at hand. And just slowly glue it or tape it together. By the end of this taping process, you should have a box which has a wider side and then four thin sides framing it all the way around. Next thing, we're going to go ahead and flip our box upside down. This side facing upwards will be the front of our theater stage, so we're going to remove part of it so our puppets can sew through. To do this, we want to pierce a hole into the box. Make sure you're being careful when you do this and ask an adult for help if you need it. Once you have pierced that small hole, you want to grab a pen or a pencil or a marker, whatever you have on hand, and you want to design on top of the box what you want the front of your theater to look like. While designing this front of your theater, you want to keep in mind that you're gonna cut part of it out and you can decorate the rest of it with elements from your play. So if you want to make some sort of adventure play that's going on in the mountains, you may want to draw mountains in the front already. In my case, I'm going to be drawing a castle tower for my puppets to play in and then some trees as decoration. Make sure that you're leaving a wider margin towards the bottom of your box because that's where you will hide your hand while moving your puppets about the scene. Then just grab some scissors and carefully go ahead cut out a larger hole into your stage. Here you can see I've emptied out a big part of the states, but I've also left some elements and the wide bottom margin to hide my hands behind. After this, you can just move into decorating. You can decorate with markers, you can decorate with paint, with colored paper. And here it is, the final theater. Now that we're done with our theater base, we're going to go ahead and learn how to make some really fun and easy finger puppets to use with it. To do this, you need to know which characters you're going to use for your finger puppet sew. Do you know them yet? Are you ready to go ahead and make them? Let's go! 
So in order to make a finger puppet such as this one, you're going to need a bunch of materials. The first thing would be some scissors, then you can also grab markers or colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have that you feel you can decorate or want to decorate with. Then a pencil which will come in super handy and a glue stick. You can also grab some other kind of glue, but a glue stick would be ideal. Last but not least, you need to grab some paper. That can be colored paper, it can be white printer paper, it can be some other kind of recycled paper. And you're ready! Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your colored or printer paper. And we're going to use this paper to make the base for our finger puppet. To do that, we place our finger on top of the paper and we draw around it the shape of the body of our puppet. You have to be really careful to make sure that you're leaving enough space around your finger. There should be about a finger's width of extra space all around your finger, so that's on either side and also on the top. You can see here I have my little pre-made puppet and there is some extra space all around my finger so it must be a bit larger than my finger is and once you have that space drawn out you can go ahead and draw your shape most of my puppets are kind of shaped like a potato but you can go ahead and do whatever shape you want depending on what your character is once I'm done with the base shape you can see you can also add some details to it. In this case, I'm drawing some wings because I am going to make this a dragon puppet. But if yours is a unicorn, you may want to go ahead and draw its horn. If it's a princess, you may want to have a flowing dress. If it's a knight, you may want to have some kind of helmet. You can decide if you want to add all those features to the base of your puppet or if you want to add them later as decorations. Once you're done, just go ahead and cut that shape out. Using that shape, you're going to grab your colored paper again, lay it on top of it, and then use your pencil to trace the shape onto the paper. You want to have the exact same shape drawn out on your colored paper. Once that's done, you can go ahead, grab your scissors, and cut this second shape out. Once you're done cutting out your second shape, you should have two puppet base shapes that look exactly the same, and you should be able to overlap them perfectly. Try it out and make sure those edges match. If that's the case, then you can go ahead and grab your glue and you can use your glue to gently glue the edges of one of your shapes. Make sure that you grab some paper or some cardboard scraps to put under your puppet shapes when you glue them because you don't want to get any glue on your table or your working space. Just apply the glue gently all around the puppet. Make sure that you're leaving some space in the middle because that's where your finger will be. So just along the edges, and also if you have any wings or any hair, you can also put glue on that. And then just go ahead and mutt the shapes together again to glue them. Do this carefully, and once you're done, just tap them together. Press on the glued spots to make sure that it matches up perfectly and it's stuck properly and then you can leave it to dry for a couple minutes just while you put your glue away and when it's dry you can go ahead and try separating the center of your puppet and sticking your finger into it and that's how you move it around the states after you're done decorating it. So just try it out, perfect. If it does fit, you can go ahead and take it off and start with the decorating. 
you can see here in my cat puppet that I've used some of these scraps of my colored paper to build it some ears and a tail and just glued them onto the back of the puppet. I'm going to do the same for my dragon and you can do it for your puppet too. So I'm going to grab some scraps of paper and I'm going to use one of them to make a tail for my dragon. So just draw that, cut it out. You can use this to make some clothes for your puppet, to make some hair, to make any kind of feature that you want. And just glue that to the puppet once you're done. And you can go ahead and use some markers, some colored pencils, whatever you have on hand, some paint, to decorate the rest of your puppet. Make sure you're adding some color to make it even more fun and anything else you want. And also, don't forget when you are decorating to decorate the back of your puppet. Since you may move it around the stage, turn it around and you want it to have some decoration on the back as well. After that, your puppet is done! Good job! Here are both of my puppets together. And you can now move them, turn them around. I'm going to put them on and then we're going to go ahead and see what they look like when they are behind the stage. Now that you're done with the craft, you can go ahead and play a sew for your family, for your friends, and if you want to share it with us, we would love to see it. You can go ahead and send it to this email address on the screen. If you like this video and you would like to make other crafts, check some other videos, you can go ahead and subscribe to the CCTV YouTube channel. We have many, many more crafts to come. Likewise, if you have enjoyed your craft time and you're thinking about doing some more theater-related activities, you can head to our website which is right now on the screen, and visit our camps, our fun at home classes, and many other activities that we have at Chicago Children's Theater. Thank you.